So if I take this guy and I try to knot him up, I think I'm in a knot now. So here in this opening here, I've got a fiber optic cable hidden in plain sight. So today, I'm taking a look at the Invisalight home fiber kit. This is a complete kit to run wired gigabit ethernet between two places on your house by hiding it in plain sight. So here's kind of all the key components of the kit, starting of course with the fiber itself. So this guy is very, very tiny. So now on each end of the fiber, we have to convert back to traditional RJ45 ethernet to use standard networking equipment. So this is called a media converter. There's two of them in the kit. They have an RJ45 jack that you plug on to your switch, your access point, your laptop, whatever. And then this is a transceiver slot, which takes a pluggable transceiver. And they include two transceivers. These are pre-installed, by the way. I just took them out to show them. And so this is basically all of the laser optics to send and receive ethernet over a single fiber. So another thing I really want to try is to see if I can break this fiber. So normally in fiber, we don't try to bend it too small of a radius because that can break the small glass inside and damage it. But this fiber apparently shouldn't have that problem. So like if I wrap it around my finger and tie it like that, traffic is not affected at all. I can even tie it into a knot. Let's see if I can do this pretty quickly on camera. So there we go. There we go. I got a knot and pull that pretty tight. And you know, traffic is still flowing. So this is not something you should ever be able to do with normal fiber and have it survive, but we're passing traffic across this fiber at full line rate, just fine. So with the link tested, I decided to glue it. So I'm gluing it into this crack here. And um, it took quite a lot of getting used to how to do it. Once I got down to the door frame though, I was able to just run my finger along it and it was pretty easy. So for the door here, um, I had to bend it in quite a lot of places to get it to not rub on the door. So I don't know about the doors where you live, but the doors in Finland seal pretty well. So there's a flange so that light doesn't get through and things like that. And so that means there's not just a gap under the door where the cat can fit through like there is in America. So I had to bend that fiber quite a lot. And then I ran the fiber under the door to the other side where my TV is. And so with that done, I guess it's time to just kind of show it off now. So as soon as you come into my house now, the fiber runs right through the middle of the room. And if it weren't hidden like this, it would be very visible. So I was running traditional Cat5, even the really small flexible stuff you can get from some online places, it would still be quite visible in this room. But the 600 micron, less than a millimeter fiber, it sits in the corner, it's glued in and it blends right in. 